up guys, it's Mr. Rolls, welcome back to a new YouTube video. This video, World Cup format, but in the NHL. So, you guys can see on the screen right now, we got eight groups, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And then we got every single NHL team on the spin wheel and one on the other. So, for example, these this is not going to count, but we're going to spin the wheel. Spin both wheels, actually. So, group E. And it's Buffalo. So, for example, Buffalo would went into Group E. If you guys don't know how the World Cup format works, it's there's 32 countries, but it's 32 ho hockey teams in the NHL. And then they're separated into eight groups of four, and it's a round robin. And then the top two make it from each group go on to a final bracket where it's the top 16 single elimination. And then just to see a winner. And there's a third place game as well. And then I'm going to calculate up all the stats and stuff so you can see all the cool stats at the end. So let's get into the let's get into the uh, ran, like the randomization of the groups. I'm not going to show you guys all the randomizations because that will take forever. So I'm going to show you like three. And then the, and then it'll be like a zoomed up version. Version. So first team and first group. So we get the Boston Bruins, and they're going in Group D. So we'll kick out Boston Bruins at the wheel. And then we're not going to kick out the group yet because it's they still need three more. So Boston and Group D. That means Montreal's in Group H. Spin, spin. And then Vegas is in Group A. So, I'll see you guys when all the groups are made. Peace! You guys just saw me like do all the, like the wheel spins and stuff so now i'm going to show you guys the groups so in group a we got vegas la arizona pittsburgh group b we got washington nashville san jose dallas group c we got seattle calgary chicago ottawa group d we got boston colorado philadelphia vancouver and then group e we got tampa bay new york buffalo new jersey carolina detroit edmonton anaheim group f group g we got winnipeg toronto columbus st louis and then montreal the islanders Minnesota Wild and Florida Panthers. So guys, the way it's gonna work, it's gonna be I don't know if I said this already, but it's gonna be thirty-two teams, which I showed you all the thirty-two teams, split into eight groups. Top two from each group make it on to the round of sixteen. And then it's gonna be crossover tournament style. It's gonna be uh group one A against two B and then two B against no two B one B against two A and so on. I'll show you guys all that later. Yo, up, guys, as we take a look at the groups here. So, Group A, in finishing first, we had Pittsburgh, 2-0-1-1 for six points. Second place, we had Las Vegas, 2-0-1-1 for six points, as you see here. As you see right here. And then, Group B, we had Washington taking the lead at 2-1-0 for seven points at 11 goals, five against. And then, second place, we had Nashville, 1-1-1 one, one, one for four points. Third place, we had San Jose. And then, fourth, we had Dallas. Remember, guys. Top two teams advance. And then, and you guys can see from the sides, the X is, if you guys don't know who advances. So, in group C, we have Seattle and Ottawa advancing. Seattle getting two wins and a loss to advance for six points. Ottawa getting a win and two ties to advance for five points. And then, group D, we have Colorado, two and one for seven points. Remember, it's three points for a win, one point for a tie, zero points for a loss. And Vancouver getting two wins and a loss for six points. Boston shock. Boston was a shock. They, they lost out. They lost to Colorado 3-2. Then they lost to Philadelphia 2-1. Okay, Group E, we got Tampa Bay advancing with a win and two ties. And then Buffalo advancing with a win, a tie, and a loss for four points. They edged out on New Jersey on goals for, goals against. That's the tiebreaker. Edmonton getting first place 2-0-1 for 6 points. And Carolina 1-2 for 5 points. That's in Group E. I mean F. 
And then right here we got St. Louis at 2 0 1 for six points for nine goals, seven assists. And as they beat out on Columbus for the top spot in Group A based on the tie Group G for the tiebreaker. And then Columbus coming up for 2 0 and 1 as well. And then Toronto and Winnipeg both done, which is actually a shock. Toronto losing out in the round robin. And then New York Islanders first place in Group H, 2 0 1 for six points. And then Montreal, 2 0 1 for six points. New York Islanders edging it out on goals differential. So. As we look at the player stats, Freddie Gaudreau, first in goals with five, as well as Tarasenko. And then with four goals, we have Adam Larry, Alex Ovechkin, Daniel Sprong, Frank Ventrano, Noah Dobson, Dakota Joshua, Evgeny Malkin, Paul Stastny, Jake Evans, and Andre Kopitar. And then as we look at the assist markers, we have Evgeny Kuznetsov and Chris Letang with five. And then we have Crosby, Horvat, Ryan Strom, Troy Terry, Tyson Jones, JT Miller, Eric Carlson, Nino Niederreiter, Drew Dede, and John from Marshall Soul, four. Then we look at the points. We got Evgeny Malkin, Tyson Jones, Vladimir Tarasenko, Sidney Crosby, Chris Tang, and Evgeny Malkin, all with six, and then seven other players tied with five. And then for plus minus, we got Dmitry Orlov with the lead, and then everyone else is tied with four. TJ Oshie, Jordan Cairo, Pavel Buchnevich, Dylan DeMello, Josh Morsey, Warren Fogel, Ilya Labushkin, Ryan Donato, Daniel Sprague, Brandon Tanev and Chandler Stevenson. And then as we look at the goalie stats, we got actually tremendous performances from the goalies so far in the round robin. We have Martin Jones at 961, Darcy Kemper 953, Alexander Georgiev 948, Cam Talbot 945, Jake Allen and Ilya Sorokin both at 942, Jake Allen edging out on more saves, James Reimer 939, Linus Allmark 932, Jordan Bennington 929, Carter Hart, 924, Spencer Martin, 924, and Andre Vasilevsky, all the 924. And then as we move on to goals against, we got Darcy Kemper, Cam Talbot, Martin Jones, Darcy Kemper getting the edge over Cam Talbot based on saves. So, Darcy Kemper, 1.33, Cam Talbot, 1.33, Martin Jones, 1.34, Alexander Georgiev, 1.67, Ilya Sorokin, 1.69, Jordan Bennington, Andre Vasilevsky, and Frederick Anderson, all on two, which... Jordan Bennington getting the lead on saves. That's the tiebreaker. And then Linus Allmark, Jacob Markstrom both on 2.02. James Reimer on 2.03. And then Jake Allen on 2.35. And then as I talk about the saves, that's the tiebreaker. These are the leaders. Martin Jones, 98. Jake Allen, 97. Jake Allen, 94. James Reimer, 93. Alexander Gordiev, 92. Jordan Bennington, 92. Elias Samsonov and Karel Vabelka couldn't carry their teams. Both with 90 saves. Igor Shosturkin, 89 as well. Couldn't carry his team. Craig Anderson, Arvid Soderblom, and Carter Hart round up the top 12 and save. So, we'll see you guys in the elimination bracket. So, as we take a look at the playoff matchups for the round of 16, we got first and A, Pittsburgh against second B, Nashville, first C, Seattle, second D, Vancouver, first in group E, Tampa Bay against second in group F, Carolina, and then first in group G, St. Louis against second in group H, Montreal. And then we got First in Group B, Washington against second in Group A, Columbus. First in Group B, Colorado. First in Group D, I mean Colorado against second in Group C, Ottawa. And then first in Group F, Edmonton against second in Group E, Buffalo. And then first in Group H, New York Islanders against first in Group G, Columbus. So we got Nashville, Pittsburgh, round one. First in A, Pittsburgh against second in B, Nashville. First period. 1-1 one, one so far. Jakob Trennan and Mark Brian Ross with the goals. Second period, 2-1. As Jason Zucker scores a goal. Ryan Johansson, Teddy Bluger, and Evgeny Malkin all score goals. Evgeny Malkin keeps going on his tear. Oh, Nino Niederreiter scores a goal. Oh, Malkin scores another one. 5-3. As we're coming down the wire here in game one. 7-26, 6-8, 6-22, 5-50. Four fifty three. We'll skip up a little bit. Slow it down actually. We come in with fifteen seconds left as it's Pittsburgh leading five three over the second C Nashville and they're the group. Eight seconds left. Can they get an empty netter? Jake Ensel, can he get his first goal? He can. Jake Ensel, that's his first goal of the the tournament so far of the World Cup. As Jake Ensel from Brian Dumoulin. And the Pittsburgh Penguins are probably going to win this game. 6-3 to three over the Nashville Predators. As the Nashville had a good round robin. Coming out of Group B. 
passing teams like Dallas and San Jose, but they couldn't get it done in the playoffs as we have a 5-3-W, 6-3-W for the Pittsburgh Penguins. As we come in, Carolina and Tampa Bay, first seeded in Group A, Tampa Bay against the second seed in Group F, Tampa Bay. First pair, we got 3 nothing Tampa Bay. Ross Colton, Steven Stamkos, and Nikita Kucherov all score. 5 nothing Tampa Bay as we go into the third period. What an outstanding performance by Tampa Bay. Could they win the World Cup format? They've won so much. Eric Chiernak scores. Oh, Jalen Chatfield scores. Do we have a comeback? Bruin late. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, power play. 7-1. Brandon Hagel scores. 8-1. Nick Perbick scores. As we join Carolina, Tampa Bay. You guys saw it. It was 8-1. What a performance by Tampa Bay. As they're going to eliminate the Carolina Hurricanes. With an 8-1 W. Carolina. Had a tough time getting out of the group. And they didn't even... They couldn't even advance with the loss. 8-1 to one against the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's Tampa Bay Lightning, they're just such a good hockey team. They keep going. Look at the stats. They're actually kind of even as well. Tampa just destroyed them. Vegas Golden Knights and the Washington Capitals. Second in Group A against first in Group B. 2-0 Washington. 2-1 Vegas. Going to the third period. Third period with nothing goal. Power play for Vegas. Oh, Anthony Manta scores. As the Washington Capitals take the lead 3-1. to one. Coming down to the wire. And we're down to the last four. And it's a goal. Trevor Van Riemsdyk scores it. 4-1. 30. 230. 208. 130. Can they score? 5-1. Washington scores another one. As we join off a of face-off, 14 seconds left. Washington is up 5-1 to one on Vegas Golden Knights. As Washington's had a tremendous tournament so far. They completely destroyed the round robin, other than the tie against Nashville. They win again. And Vegas Golden Knights having a tough time against teams like L.A. and Arizona to try and get out of their group. They can't go far. As they lose 5-1 to one versus the Capitals and get eliminated. As both teams and as a team in Group A and a team in Group B wins it. Now we move on to Buffalo versus Edmonton. 2-2 two, two, Buffalo. 3-2 Buffalo. And it's 5-2 Buffalo. John Jason Paterka with the Hattie. As Buffalo beats Edmonton 5-2. Oh, I forgot to do the sit. Oh, that's my bad, guys. Buffalo beats Edmonton 5-2 and moves along. All right, first in Group C, Seattle against second in Group D, Vancouver. I'll remember to join in this time. 3 nothing Vancouver early. Ethan Bear, Will Lockwood, and Connor Garland all score. <gasps> Matty Beniers gets a goal as it's 3-1. As we go into the th third period. I'm sorry about the last guy. It was with Buffalo and Edmonton. I'm sorry about that, guys. Power play for Seattle. Nothing brewing. Down to the last eight minutes. Another power play for Seattle. Two power plays in the third period. You can't score on either of them. What are we doing, Seattle? We're coming down to the last minute. Oh, Andre Kuzmenko with the empty netter. And that should basically do it. As we join this one with Vancouver winning 4-1. to one, Martin Jones could not carry Seattle any longer. As you guys saw with Martin Jones' ridiculous 960 save percentage. But no, Vancouver wins it 4-1, to one, and they move on to the next round. So tough for Seattle. What a round robin for Martin Jones and the whole Seattle team. But now they're eliminated now. Now for the first in G, St. Louis Blues against the second in H, Montreal Canadiens. 1-0 Ryan O'Reilly. Guys, this is before the trade. 3-0. Ryan O'Reilly scores his second, and Pavel Buchanovic gets a goal. We start the third period. Starting it early. 4 nothing. Ryan O'Reilly gets a Hattie. <laughs> Last pretty much games with the St. Louis Blues. As the next time I do. Oh, my Logan Brown gets a goal. 
So we're coming down to the wire. Five, not six, nothing. Paolo Bucinavich scores. Six, nothing. St. Louis is completely destroying Montreal. Completely like, how do these guys even get in? I did. I sold, but no way. It says there's 27 seconds. Okay, but it's six nothing St. Louis. We didn't have to go in for that one. St. Louis advances six nothing. First in D Colorado against second in C Ottawa. Two nothing Colorado. Miko Rantanen gets two goals. Three one. As Evan Rodriguez and Shane Pinto get a goal. So we start the third. Pretty blow games, guys. I'm just gonna let it sim through for now. Because it's like the little point of just showing like the animation we see every time. Power play for Colorado. Oh, power play for Ottawa. Nope. Power play for Colorado again. Can they score on it? Yes, they can. Miko Rantanen gets the Hattie. This is 4-1. And we join the sim. 4-1 Colorado over Auto. Oh, what a hit by Matt Nieto. What is that on to break it? Comfort with the puck. 10 seconds left. Okay, Miko Ransom scores fourth. No, he cannot. Four. Three. Two. And the first seeded Colorado Avalanche are going to beat the second seeded Ottawa Senators 4-1 to one and move on to the next round. A chance at Lord Stanley in this World Cup format. As Colorado completely dominated in shots. As now we get the last game of the round of 16. The first seeded New York Islanders of Group H against the second seeded of Group G. Columbus Blue Jacks. First period, Bo Horvat scores. And Jack Rosovic. Second period, 2-2. Johnny Gaudreau and Brock Nelson score goals. Is Columbus the story? Columbus. Dead last in the NHL in real life. Actually, I think they won last night. To go above, but still, pretty much dead last. Kirill Marchenko scores! The legend! He had 13 goals in 13 games in real life. Columbus. No way. Columbus 4-2 out of Boquist scores a goal. Columbus about to upset the Islanders as they be beat the Leafs, and I'm pretty sure they beat the Jets to advance. It's 4-2. We're coming down to the wire. Is anything doing for the Islanders? Not looking like it. What happened, Islanders? You got a good goal from Bo Horvat. But nothing doing everything, anything else. As we join the last seven seconds here. 16 block shots to five, and you're still losing four to two. Seven. Bo Horvat with the faceoff win. They pull the goalie. Pour out the shot. And they're going to cover for no reason. As the Columbus Blue Jackets are going to win it four to two and advance to the next round. Unless we get a miracle. Not just... One miracle, two miracles. Because imagine just scoring the one and. Borvat loses the faceoff and the Columbus Blue Jackets win again. And they advance to play the Buffalo Sabres in the next round, which they could win another game. As Columbus wins at 4-2 to two in advance. As the stats are always tight, I, don't, I have no reason. It must be a glitch. And as we take a look at the second round, we got the first and A. Pitts, oh, by the way, guys, it doesn't recede. It doesn't recede. So we got first and A, Pittsburgh going to get against... Second and D, Vancouver. And then we got first and E, Tampa Bay against first and G, St. Louis. We got first and B, Washington against first and D, Colorado. And then we got second and E, Buffalo going to get up against second and G, Columbus. So two second round matchups. First game, Buffalo, not Buffalo. Pittsburgh versus Vancouver. First period, nothing doing. Second period, nothing doing. All right, we go into the third period. 0-0 zero, zero so far. Vancouver out shooting them 23-16. Pittsburgh on the power play. Tyler Myers gets a goal, though, from the point. Right after the power play. Another power play. This time for Vancouver, nothing doing. It's Vancouver's. Can they win it? Down to the last two minutes. One minute 30. 120. 115. 107. 57. 39. Pittsburgh scores. Sidney Crosby, we just saw that. Crosby scores. Alex was intervening. Intervening. Crosby just scored to make it 1-1. Holy. Crosby scored with 38 seconds left as we start, as we join in. Crosby coming down. Can he score another one? Crosby the Jeff Petrie. 
Jeff Petrie, could he be gone by the deadline? Probably not. Oh, Crosby. Gensel scores! Gensel, 21 seconds left. What a comeback. Crosby scores with 38 seconds left. And then Gensel gets a second in, of the tournament and scores. Holy. Those points don't matter. Those points don't matter, guys. Those do that's that's actually kind of good for Gensel, though. Four points. Can move in the league lead. But we'll have the adjusted points at the end. I'll tell you guys. And I'll tell you the cons, Smith, and everything. 15 seconds remaining, though. Brian Rust. Chris Letang. Letang shoots. Rebound. Can they get another one? Oh, no. Crosby can't tap it in. And Spencer Martin's had a good tournament so far. He's had a 9-2-4 save percentage, I think, going into the round of 16. Hits. Yeah, I don't show hits. So there you go. Here's your hits, leaders. Ethan Bear, Mikhail Grenlin. Grenlin, seven hits in one game. Are we serious? Crosby wins it back to Gensel. Five seconds for the Vancouver Canucks. But it's not going to be do anything. As your Pittsburgh Penguins win it 2-1. to one And advance to the final four. Holy, what a win for the Penguins. Coming back. They were down 1-0. 38 seconds left. Crosby scores a goal. And then 21 seconds left. Jake Ensel scores a goal as they were outplayed. But they killed them in passing, 86 to 64. It's Pittsburgh Penguins advance. Tampa Bay, St. Louis, first and E. Tampa against first and G. St. Louis, one nothing. Brandon Todd scores a goal, three one. Pavel Buchnevich, Jake Neighbors, and Patrick Maroon get goals. So we start the third here. Four one. Ryan O'Reilly gets his fourth. So we're coming down. 26 shots to 20. It's, it's Tampa Bay. They've been so good. Could they be out? And first and G St. Louis move along in advance. Holy, we're coming down the wire. Yeah, it's basically done. We don't even have to watch it. Oh, 5 1 Nolachari. The new leaf as well scores, and it's 5 1 St. Louis with the win. It's Tampa Bay. You're, you're done. Washington, Colorado. First and B, Washington against first and D, Colorado. First period, nothing doing. Second period, 1 0 as Ben Myers scores a goal. That's the third of the tournament. Power play for Washington. Power play for Colorado. Just rattling off power plays. 34 shots to 28 it was. It's Colorado get, holding on to the one nothing lead so far. So we're coming down to the last 250. 210 now. Can Washington get anything going? Not looking like it. Oh no. Washington. As we join this, 15 seconds left. Sonny Milano gets the puck. Empty net. Archery Lekkinen gets the puck. Can he score on the empty net? To McKinnon. Oh, but he loses it. Can, did he Patrick Stefan it? Oh, no. 5-4. 3. It's not looking like it. As first and D, Colorado is going to advance with the win. 1-0. What a goaltender performance by Alexander Georgiev. The 30 save shutout, I think it was. What a game by Darcy Kemper as well. 36 save it was. As Colorado advances 1-0 with the win. Buffalo and Columbus. Second and E. Buffalo against second and G. Columbus. 1-0 Columbus. Liam Foody scores a goal. 0-0 after two. 27 shots for Buffalo after two periods of play. Holy to 18. But they cannot solve Elvis Mers Lickens. Power play for Buffalo. Nothing doing. 8 left. 7. 6. As we're coming down to the final two minutes. Buffalo, they've only had like eight shots this whole period. Is it going to be over for Buffalo? As we join this one on another odd man rush. Nope, Patrick Lightning gets rocked. Do we have another one nothing, back to back one nothing? As Buffalo, who's been doing so well in the real NHL. They're going to lose to the cellar dwellers. Oh wait, yeah, Buffalo. Can Lightning score? No, but it's one nothing Columbus with the win. And they're going to play the Colorado Avalanche in the final four. Holy. So, oh, new animation. Nope, now it's the same old. But Columbus with the win. And Merzlikin with the 35 save shutout. As Buffalo advances. I mean, Columbus advances.
Now we go. First and A, Pittsburgh against first and G, St. Louis. 0-0 zero, zero after the first. 17 shots to 7. 2-1. Pierre Olivier, Joseph, and Brian Russ. Ivan Barbershop score as well. As we go into the third period. 3-1, Marcus Pedersen gets a goal. 3-2, Josh Levo gets a goal. Power play for St. Louis. Nothing doing. Power play for Pittsburgh. 4-2, Danton Heinen. Could that be it? Oh, no. Pa five on three. Scores. Ronald Riley gets it one. Oh, my gosh. F As it's 4-3 going in. 5-3. Brock McGinn scores. What a boy. We have five goals in this one period. As we're coming down to the wire. The last three. The last 256. The last 241. 227. Oh, my gosh. Last 140. Coming down. 111, 106, 155, 43, 32, 25, and we're in. We join this one. Pittsburgh versus St. Louis, 5-3. St. Louis empty net. Oh, what a move by Cairo. Shen, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, they scored. Drew O'Connor, nice stat pad. What a goal. Drew O'Connor from Tristan Jari with the assist. As Pittsburgh is going to advance to the gold medal game of the World Cup. And St. Louis is going to fall to the third place. Guys, don't think I forgot about the third place game. But Pittsburgh to the first place game. Brandon Sod is bad. Crosby, he's hyped. Latag hyped. Jari hyped. As Pittsburgh moves on to the gold medal game. As St. Louis falls to the bronze. 31 shots to 30. Let's check on the stats. Crosby's been money all tournament. Crosby, three points for three assists. Gensel, two assists for two points. Latang, Carter, and Zucker all an assist. Brock McGinn, a goal. Marcus Pedersen, a goal. Brian Rust, a goal. Pierre Olivier, Joseph, a goal. Dan Hutton, and Drew O'Connor. And for St. Louis, Colton Pareko had two assists for two points. Justin Falk, an assist. And Pavel Buchnevich, an assist. But Ryan O'Reilly, Josh Levo, and Ivan Barbashev all got goals. Ryan O'Reilly, five goals so far. Just in the round of 16. Columbus versus Colorado. Second and G, Columbus against first and D, Colorado. Kale McCarr scores. 3-1 now. Ranton and McKinnon and Sillinger. The Stars came to play for Colorado. Holy power play. 4-1. Ranton has been on it. Where is he scoring from? 5-1. Oh, Columbus. Columbus versus St. Louis is looking like it. Going to be in the final. As we're still going to interview an Islander, we're still going to see like the celebration of them going to the cup final. But Columbus is going to fall to bronze. And what's it called? Columbus is going to fall to bronze. Colorado is going to go to the cup final or the gold medal, whatever you want to call it. As we're going to join in. As we join here in the last 19 seconds. Boone Jenner pokes... Gets poked away. Georgi has been on one. He's only allowed one goal. No, two goals. In the whole tournament bracket so far. Three, two, one, and that's it. 5-1 Colorado with the win. As they're going to advance to the gold medal game. As it's going to be Colorado-Pittsburgh. McKinnon-Crosby. The two buddies going against each other. As in the bronze medal game, we're going to see St. Louis versus Columbus. What a, way, what a way to end. As 41 shots to 27. As, what the heck? McKinnon, five points a goal for us. It's eight shots as well. Ranted in two goals and assists for three points. Aaron Rodriguez, three assists for three points. Kel McCarty, goal and assist for two. Archie Leckin in the goal. And Alex Newhook, an assist. As for Columbus, Cole Sillinger, assisted by Adam Boquist and... Kent Johnson. St. Louis versus Columbus. First in Group G against second in Group G. These guys have already played each other once in the tournament so far. And. 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 The Blues came out with the dub 3-1. to one. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying to find it. So. It's, oh, Justin Falk scores. It's 2 1. Matthew Olivier, Patrick Line, and Joseph Alcaval scored. As the winner of this gets bronze medal and bragging rights for eternity because the other one doesn't get a medal. St. Louis won the first game. Can they win the second game or not? 3 1. J J Kent Johnson on Jarn Bennington. 
Jordan Bennington's had a heck of a tournament so far. As well as so many other goaltenders in this tournament. His goalie's just been nuts all around. I can't sit. I missed the sim, guys. But I'll improvise and put in the other sim. Because they won bronze. Let's go 3-1, Columbus. S know why? The sim's over. Because no one cares about the sim. That sim doesn't mean anything. All that matters is the gold medal game. Pittsburgh and... Know who's Pittsburgh playing? Colorado. Pittsburgh, Colorado. For the win. For the chip. Pittsburgh, Colorado for the chip. Here we go. Seven points. That doesn't mean anything right now. Colorado. one nothing. Pittsburgh early. Jason Zucker. 2-1 as Devin Teams and Archery Lickinen. Guys, at the end, I'll show you guys all the stats. Don't worry about the consmite. I'll worry about the consmite. Alex Zuhulik gets a goal. 15 left. Power play. They had double power play. What are we doing, Pittsburgh? How do they have a power play for this long? Oh, it's killed. What, it was like a five-minute power play? As we're coming down to the wire. I'm not going to miss it this time, guys. As I'm slowing it up early. I'm slowing it up early. As Pitt, Colorado. Pitt, Pittsburgh, score a goal, man. Pittsburgh, what are you doing? Guys, why it's five on five minutes, three on three, and then shoot out if they were to tie it. So it's like the World Cup, kind of. What are we doing? It's another five on three for Colorado. Pittsburgh, what are you doing? Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Still a power play. Like, what is this? I'm surprised it's not 4-1 yet. Oh, yeah, now it is. 4-1. Power play for Pittsburgh. This is time. Oh. Guess we get to watch the end of the power play, guys. But it's going to be over. It's going to be Colorado winning it. Okay, guys. 29 seconds left. Colorado. Pittsburgh's in their own zone. Oh, a rebound. Pittsburgh. Come on. 20 seconds to score three. What are we doing here? Raquel. Demolkin scores. There's one. There's one. Don't worry yet. There's one. There's one. Oh my gosh. malkin has been lightning all tournament. He was he was among the leaders in goals. I think he had three. And Kevin Carr doesn't matter. Nine points for Anton and Ann. Guys, I'll do a little quick thing. Ten. Nine. Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, the other. Okay. Three, two, one. It's over. Oh my Pittsburgh. What was that? What a brutal performance in the finals. As Colorado wins it. Four to two in the finals. Am I on the wrong tab? No, I'm not. Okay, that's huge. I thought I was on the wrong thing. Stanley Cup champs. Colorado Avalanche. And they won the gold medal. Why is he wearing his helmet? I have no idea. But the Colorado Avalanche win the cup for the second straight time. They're just undefeated. That's back-to-back -back cups. They won in the World Cup format. And they won in real life last year. I'll tell you guys the Con Smythe because I've calculated who the Con Smythe is. So, sorry for that, guys. Con Smythe winner. I'll let you guys know. It is not McKinnon. It is not McKinnon. McKinnon did good. He did good. It is... Not McKinnon. Wait, unless it is McKinnon. No, he only had six points. The consummate that actually winner is Miko Rantanen. Miko Rantanen, I think he had five goals, three assists for eight points. No, five goals. Oh, I'll let you guys know. Colorado, let's see them lift the cup. Miko Rantanen. Wait, why does... I thought McKinnon had the seat. Oh, it's Lance Cog. Oh, yeah. Lance Cog is actually injured in this, guys, technically. He's injured. He's injured in real life, so he's injured in this. McKinnon lifted the cup. The A gets the cup. Lance Cog. Get fucked, buddy. You're in the, you're in the stands. I swear. McKinnon. Raising the cup. Who should host the... Oh, I don't even get to choose. Lame. 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 Alexander Georgiev, the all-star goalie. He, he, he kind of could have won the cons, but he didn't suck in the final against Pittsburgh. Look at him. He's hyped. Georgiev. Georgiev, get hyped. Look at the true pads. Looking dope. Oh, nice spins. Like, what are we doing here? Oh, who's hosting the next? Give it to Rantanen. He's actually the cons, Okay, they're going to give it to some bomb. 
Andrew Carlin, I don't even think he had a point. I swear, I'm, I'm looking at him right now. I, I don't even think he had one point. I actually don't even think he had a point. He had one goal in the round robin. Oh, brother. What are we doing? How do they hand this out? Okay, give it to Randonen. Give it to Randonen. If they don't give it to Randonen, next one's rigged. Randonen's the actual cons wife. Give it to Randonen. There we go. Oh, pff. nice bait. And they give it to Ben Myers. Like, who? Ben Myers has got three or four goals. But still, they should give it to Randonen. Randonen, eight. I think he had two points in the round. Well, it doesn't count the round. He still had six or seven points in the what's it called the playoffs. But we have Colorado. Look at them; they're all hyped. Oh, I just skipped it. Well, the only thing left was picture. But Rantanen. But McKinnon two assists for two points. Logan O'Connor two assists for two points. Cam McCarr two assists for two points. I'm sure you a goal for a point. Brad Hunt an assist for a point. Rantanen another goal this game a goal for a point. Evan Rodriguez an assist for a point. Devin Tays a goal. New Hook a goal. Malkin, a goal and assist for two points. Raquel, two assists for two points. Crosby, an assist for a point. Zucker, a goal. As I'll tell you how much points Ranton had, and then I'll tell you guys the awards. So, for Colorado, okay, nine points, get out of here. Okay, nine points, doesn't matter. Okay, Ranton had nine points as well. But he had seven goals and two assists. So, Brandon gets Calder. He had seven goals, two assists for eight points. And I'm pretty sure he had a plus four. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys all the stats. Yo, guys, as we take a look at the final stats, we got for goals, Miko Ranton with seven, Malkin six, Frederick Gaudreau with five, Vladimir Tarasenko with five, Ryan O'Reilly with five, Adam Lyre with four, Alex Vection with four, Daniel Spawn with four, Frank Ricciano with four, Nikita Kucherov with four, and 14 other players tied with three. For assists, it's Nathan McKinnon, 11, Sidney Crosby, 9, Chris Tank 7, Getty Malkin, 6, and as long as Cal McCarr and Evan Rodriguez, both with 6, and 10 other players tied with 5. Four points, it's McKinnon, Crosby, Malkin, all with 12, Miko Rantanen, your Smythe with 9, with the 7 goals, Ryan O'Reilly with 9 points as well, Chris Tank with 8, and then 9 other players tied with 7. Your plus-minus leaders are Brian Dumoulin, all Pittsburgh Penguins right now. Cause I you don't want to read me you don't want me to read off eleven other players but it's Brian Rust eight Brian Dumoulin six Jake Ensel six Chad Rudel six your top forward of the tournament is Miko Rantanen Conn Smythe and top forward top forward is a award in the World Cup so we're giving it out here so and the Golden Boot goes to Miko Rantanen as well so goalies. We got Darcy Kemper, 960 save percentage. Alexander Georgiev, 959. Martin Jones, 947. Tristan Jaria, 943. James Reimer, 939. Jordan Binkington, 937. Elvis Merz Lickens. Kerry Columbus ended with a 935. Spencer Martin, also 935. Linus Allmark, 932. Cam Talbot, 924, as well as Carter Hart. And Ilya Sorokin, 922. Unfortunately, couldn't get out of the group stage. Alexander Georgiev had an insane tournament. 1229. Goals against average. Darcy Gamper, 1.33. Tristan Jarrett, 1.72. Martin Jones, 1.77. Spencer Martin, 1.81. Cam Talbot, 2. Allmark, 2.02. .02. James Reimer, 2.03. Elvis Merzlikens, 2.15. Ilya Sorokin, 2.29. Jared Binkinson, 2.31. Jacob Markson, 2.36. And then the leaders of safe. Elvis Merzlikens led the league, led the tournament in saves, 215. Alexander Yorgi of 208. Jared Binkinson, 203. Jari, 199. Kemper 145, Vassy 134, Craig Anderson 132, Jake Allen 130, Spencer Barman 129, Martin Jones 126, Logan Thompson 109, and Ilya Sorokin with 106. Top goaltender is going to be Alexander Georgiev. He had a 2-0, 208 saves, 1.29 goals against, 959 save percentage, and I believe he had a shutout. Guys, if you the, all the links. The link of the stats are all going to be in the description. So you guys can check out the whole page. You can check out whatever team you want. You can check out the whole, like, standings. You can check out all your stats of your favorite players. See how they did. Unfortunately, some players, if they were injured, they were not in this by the time of this recording. So if you guys like this video, drop a like, drop a sub. Tell me if you guys like this video. Really appreciate it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.